Hello, and welcome to Auto of the Future. If you've ever rode a motorbike, you know how vital it is to maintain balance when coming to or sitting at a stop. According to some estimates, nearly 99% of all rookie riders will crash their bike at some point. While this may or may not be the case, several manufacturers have developed self-balancing motorcycles to help with the problem. Self-balancing motorcycles have been on the market for a few years and are suitable for both beginner and experienced riders. The Honda Riding Assist idea, which was revealed at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas in 2017, is one of the more well-known self-balancing bikes. The front fork which connects the handlebars to the front wheel is the key to the bike's self-balancing technology. The angle of the fork varies as the bike slows down to a stop or travels slower than 4 km per hour, bringing the front wheel forward. This move initiates the self-balancing mechanism, which balances the bike by making modest left and right adjustments to the wheel. Any bike without a self-balancing system would lean in the same way as the front wheel, but with Honda's riding assist system, the bike leans in the other direction and is kept balanced by automatic handlebar adjustments. If you're a beginner rider who has trouble holding a motorcycle up when stopped at a light or slowing down, a self-balancing motorcycle is a good investment. Also, for any senior riders out there, holding up a 400-pound motorcycle may not be optimal, therefore a self-balancing motorcycle might be really beneficial. Self-balancing is just one component of the future of motorbikes, according to Atsuo Oda, a senior researcher at Honda R&D, as driving assistance technologies comparable to those used in four-wheel cars could become the standard as well. Honda isn't the only automaker working on a self-balancing motorcycle concept. BMW, Rhino Motors, and Lit Motors have all worked on their own versions. For example, the BMW Vision Next 100 model balances itself using a different type of technology. The bike uses gyroscope technology to keep itself upright instead of elongating the front wheel design. The Rhino Motors RYNO bike, on the other hand, is a one-wheeled mobility device that uses the same technology as a Segway. A gyroscope keeps it balanced, and you can move it forward and backward with a simple lean. To top it off, it's also electric-powered, nevertheless, it doesn't appear to have taken off with the general public. In any event, it's encouraging to see automakers tackling problems we wouldn't consider, even if they're as easy as balancing a bike. The majority of recommended starter bikes are small, so newer riders won't be overwhelmed by balancing and handling them. This is in contrast to several Harley-Davidson motorcycles. Harley Cheapest Davidson's bike, the Street 750, is nearly 100 pounds heavier than my Triumph Street Triple R, but the company may have a solution to entice new buyers and aid its aging fan base, a self-balancing motorcycle. Please do not forget to hit like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content about automobile of the future. Thank you for watching.